So I wanted to briefly go over with you how to make a data table within a Google Doc. So wherever you want to put your data table, you're going to go to insert table and it's going to let you pick the number of boxes. It doesn't really matter at first which how much you pick because you can always change it later. So let's pick three by three to start. Now this first column is almost always going to be your independent variable. And then usually the last column is your dependent variable. If there's something to calculate or additional information that needs to be recorded, it goes in the middle spots. So if this was the experiment I wanted to make a data table for, my independent variable that I am changing is the mass. So I would put that heading here, mass of the ball. And always in parentheses, you wanna put the unit. So if, am I gonna measure in grams or kilograms? Okay. My dependent variable is how far it rolls. And like I said, the last column is almost always where you put the dependent variable. And again, I need to put, am I measuring it in centimeters? Am I measuring it in meters? Now, do I need another column? Well, maybe, maybe I want to have a column where I'm telling the height of the ramp or the angle of the ramp, but because that's gonna be held constant, I probably don't need that. So I can just right click with my mouse and I can delete the column. So I'm only gonna need two columns for this experiment. I probably would do at least three different masses. So if I wanna insert a row, I would go to, again, I'm right clicking with the mouse and then I'm inserting a row. So now I've got space to record the mass of three different balls and record how far they go down the ramp. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's assume that this was our question that we needed to make a data table for. Again, I recommend we go to insert table and just start with some boxes. It doesn't really matter what. As we start to plan it, we can be a little bit more specific. How does the amount of water affect the density of the water? So what is it that I, the scientist, am changing? I'm gonna change the amount of water. So that's my independent variable, so it should go in this first column. Amount of water, I need a unit, milliliters, okay. My dependent variable is the density of the water, and the unit for that is grams per milliliters. Okay, well, in order to find the density, I would need to be able to also have the mass because um, you'll notice the unit is, has grams in it. So I would need to find the mass of the water and record that in grams. Now, if you were to actually do this experiment, you would realize, okay, I measure out five milliliters of water. I can put that graduated cylinder on the balance and find its mass but that's the mass of the graduated cylinder and the water. So I actually gonna need to find the mass of the graduated cylinder alone, the mass of the graduated cylinder with the water, and then subtract it, the mass. So I'm gonna actually need a lot of columns to keep track of all these numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to insert. I want columns insert another column. And then this column is be where I would subtract these previous two columns. So this is the mass of the water alone. So here's my independent variable, the amount of water. This is my dependent variable, the density of the water. Um, but I had to have a spot to record those other numbers. And so that's how I ended up with these extra spots in between. 
And now, of course, I'm going to do more than one trial. So I need to right click and insert some additional rows below. Okay, so now I can hopefully my data will back up um, that the density of the water doesn't change. It doesn't matter how much water I have, the density should stay the same. Um, it's a common misconception among students. So your teacher might want you to do this lab so you can see for yourself that the density is going to stay right about one gram per milliliter. Now I'm not quite done yet. Every data table needs a title. Okay, and the data table, don't title it data table, okay? Um, the data table title needs to be a description of what the, gra the data table is about. So I usually like the effect of blank on blank where, where the blanks are the independent and dependent variable. So the effect of the amount of water on the density of the water. Okay, so you can see that if as long as you start with your independent variable here and your dependent variable there, and then you start brainstorming what else might I need to record, then you will know um, how many other columns to insert into your data table. Make sure you title it and make sure you put in units. Those are common things that kids forget and end up losing points on. Okay, I hope this helped. Have a great day.